welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be uh, continuing our scripting basics by looking at how to do math in the script. So many times in our games, we have to add, subtract, multiply, divide, set up an equation uh, using numbers uh, and variables to, to uh, figure stuff out, adjust values, whatever, for our game. So we're going to look at how we do that in scripting. So uh, we have these variables from our last video. Uh, we have health and money. These are some variables that have number values. So we have an integer. Again, that's a positive or negative whole number. And we have a float, which is a positive or negative decimal number. And we're going to do a little math on these. So we're going to go ahead and do this in our start function. So it just runs one time at the beginning of the game. We're already printing out some values. So what we'll do here is we'll insert a few lines in front of where we're printing with the debug.log to our console and that way we'll be able to see the results of our math uh, on these variables as we play around with it. One thing uh, when you're doing scripting to make sure you know is that the computer will do the instructions we put in here in the order that we tell it. So uh, when we, if we want to see the values of things after our math we have to do the math before we get to where we're printing it out. Okay, so let's talk about addition first here. So if I want to add some var variables or some numbers together, uh, there's a couple of different ways we can type it in. So let's say we want to add something to our health. So maybe we pick up a health pack uh, and it's going to you know, give us a little more health. So I would give the name of the variable and I would set it equal to now, if I want to add to what is already in our health, so let's say our health is 50 and I picked up a health pack that's worth 25 health, then I would have to say something like this. I'd say health equals health plus 25. So this basically says health is my variable. Make this variable health equal to whatever the current value of health is. So let's say that was 50. Uh, and then we're going to add... 25 to it. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and change this health up here to 50 so that it is 50. And then we'll add to this. So now health is going to be 50 plus 25, which is 75. So this side adds up to 75. It will then store the answer right back here on top of health. So we'll overwrite the 50 that was here and make it a 75. And when we print it, it should tell us here that it's 75. So let's actually test this out. I'm going to go out here into the script and I'm going to uh, reset this so that all these, these values that I changed in the last video aren't here. So to do that I can just click this little gear and say reset and it should reset it back to um, what we have in our, in our script. So you see here now it's showing 50 for health. So let's hit play. Let's clear out our console and let's hit play and see what it tells me what health is. So see here now health is 75. You can also see it here in the inspector before I played, so out of play mode it's 50. When I run it and that start function runs, it adds 25 to it, changes the value here to 75. So that math did indeed work. So there's a couple of different ways we can type this. We can type it out this way, which is the long way to type it out. In scripting you'll find there's lots of shortcuts uh, so we don't have to type as much which is nice because we do a lot of typing when we're scripting. So another way I could write this is I could say health and I could say plus equals 25. This is the way you'll see me write it most of the time once we get going in the scripting here. Um, this is a shorthand way of writing this. So this means take health, add to it whatever is over here, and then make that, store that with the equal sign, assign it back to health. So this will take, this is the same way as writing this. So this will still make it 75. So let's make this a comment just by putting the two lines there so the computer will ignore this line. It will only run this line now. And let's see if we still get a uh, 75 out here in the inspector when we go. So you see right now it's 50 right here. And if I hit play, you'll see it still jumps to 75 because this line of code here is running. And that just says take whatever value has health in it and add 25 to it. So that's the second way to write that. And that, that will work for uh, any of our basic mathematical functions, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. 
All right, so there's two different ways. One isn't necessarily better than the other. One isn't more right than the other. It's just kind of a matter of preference, but most people, once they get into this, will appreciate saving, uh, typing in um, variable names twice. So that's kind of why it's there. Now, a lot of times in our scripting, we want to add uh, just one. So think of it like if you're running around and picking up um, uh, coins or rings or whatever in your game, and you're just keeping track of how many you picked up. Uh, when every time you pick one up, you just want to add one. Well, again, you could write, um, so let's say we can pick up health points. <laughs> so uh, I could say health equals health plus one, the long way, like I showed you up here at the top. I could write it as health plus equals one, which will say just add one to whatever health is, or if we're adding one, there's another shortcut and that's just saying the variable's name and then two plus signs next to each other without a space. Okay, so health plus plus means add one to whatever health currently is and store it back in that variable. So basically there's three different ways here. One, two, three ways to add one to a variable. Okay, and we use this all the time in our coding. So if you see anybody type a plus plus, that just means you're adding one to whatever the variable name is. All right, so that's, that's addition. Uh, subtraction is basically the same. So in subtraction, you can do the same deal. Let's say this time we're gonna uh, buy something. So we're gonna take something out of our money. So I could say money equals money minus, let's say we bought something that cost $10. If we're doing uh, floats, we should put an F at the end there just to let it know that this is a float number so it formats it correctly. But this would take whatever our money currently is and subtract 10 from it. Let's go ahead and change money up here. Let's give ourselves like $55.25. Let's save this and see if it subtracts 10 from our money. So we'll go out here to Unity, clear all that out. So money currently is showing zero. Let's go ahead and reset that script. It should give me some money. That, oh, I'm still in play mode. That's why it didn't update. Let's go ahead and reset that. Okay, so you see money now uh, has gone out and gotten the values from the script. So it's 55.25. When I hit play, it should take $10 off. And you can see here it printed it at 45.25, and it also shows it up here. So that subtraction did work in our script. That's because we did this right here. Okay, now, as you may have already anticipated, you can write this another way, and you can say minus equals 10, and that will also take 10 away, right? Because it's a shortcut. Here's the long way, here's the shortcut, just like up here. The long way, the shortcut. Now, also, as you may have already anticipated, if I need to subtract 1 from my money, I can just use uh, this shortcut here, minus minus, like that. Uh, now, maybe we wouldn't, wouldn't do this with money, but a lot of times we would do this with things like ammo. Every time you, you shoot your weapon, you use one of your shells, one of your, one of your ammo, and you're keeping track of ammo. Uh, that's one that we would use a lot uh, as, we, as we do that. So we are constantly adding one, subtracting one from things in our games. That's why they gave us these shortcuts. So you have different ways of doing subtraction. Okay, you can do multiplication. Same kind of an idea here. Um, let's say I want to, uh, I, I hit something that doubles my money. Okay, so I want to take my money times two. Well, okay, I, I would say money equals, and then I want to double it, so I'd say money times two. Now, the multiplication symbol in coding is the asterisk key. It's on your eight key at the top of your keyboard. You hold shift down, you get the little star or your asterisk. That means multiplication. So this would take whatever my money currently is and take it times two. So just to make this a little clearer, let's go here and just make these guys comments so that the computer will skip all that stuff in gray. Uh, money will start at 55.25, so we'll take it times two, and let's see what we get for the answer. Hit play, and money went to 110.50, which is exactly what we would uh, get if we took 
what uh, money was, 5525, and took it times 2. So that is multiplication using the asterisk. Now, you can also do the shorthand trick here. We can say money times equals 2, and that will also do the same thing. Okay, so the shortcut that I've showed you up here for addition and subtraction, it works for multiplication as well. You wouldn't do a, a money times times because, you know, for health here, minus minus times times, because, you know, money, any number times one is just the same number, so it doesn't make any sense to have that in there. So you won't see that shortcut, but you will see this. And then division uh, is exactly the same. Let's say I want to uh, divide my health by two. So I would say health equals, I can either say health equals health. Divided is the forward slash, like that. So that would take my health and divide it by 2. So again, let's go ahead and make all these comments so that it just ignores all this, but we can still see it. So our health is 50. If I divide health by 2, I should get 25. Let's just demonstrate that it's doing that out here in our program. And you can see over here that health did jump to 25. So that is working as we would expect it to. All right, so, and yes, you guessed it, you can also use the shortcut, divide equals, and then whatever you want to divide it by will also work. Okay, so basically the rule is, if you want to use the shortcut for math, you put the operator, so uh, the plus sign, minus sign, asterisk, or forward slash, in front of the equal sign, and the computer will know what you mean. Okay, it knows that you mean this. So those are your shortcuts. So that really, a lot of the math we do in games is really just simple addition, you know, multiplication, division, subtraction. Uh, and then uh, sometimes we have to put that together in a formula to figure out um, what an answer is. And if we do that, the, the computer does follow the order of operations, just like it would in your math class. So parentheses, you know, exponents, parentheses, uh, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, in that order, it'll go through and... Um, take care of that. So we can get as complicated as we want here with our math, uh, but it's really just built up from the same basic pieces that you've already learned how to do as you've gone through school. So that is doing math inside of the scripting program.